हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल आई एम गोइंग टू रीड रीड एंड रीड ओनली फॉर यू ऑल गाइस ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द चैप्टर्स ऑफ नाइन्थ आई सी एस ई सो लेट्स बिग एन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू रीड चैप्टर फोर जोग्राफी अर्थ स्ट्रक्चर आवर नॉलेज अबाउट द इंटीरियर ऑफ द अर्थ कम्स नॉट फ्रॉम एक्सकवेशन एंड एक्सप्लोरेशन ऑफ द इंटीरियर पार्ट ऑफ द अर्थ बट फ्रॉम द स्टडी ऑफ सिसमिक वेव्स मटीरियल थ्रोन अप बाई वॉलोज एंड एविडेंस फ्रॉम द थियोरीज ऑफ द ओरिजिन ऑफ द अर्थ In respect of seismic or the earthquake waves, only primary waves, P waves, reach the surface of the Earth. The secondary waves, S waves, do not pass through the liquids. The scientific instrument which record these waves have enabled scientists to know about the density, pressure, and temperature of the interior of the Earth. The molten material thrown up by volcanoes rises to the surface of the Earth from the magma chamber deep inside the Earth from the study of this material. Scientists. have come to know about the materials that constitute the interior of the earth keeping in mind the theories of the origin of the earth scientists study study meteorites which fall on the surface of the earth the earth is said to be constituted of the same material as the meteorites the heat given out by the earth comes from radioactive elements deep inside the earth the study of this heat in interior areas helps us to estimate the temperature of the interior of the earth earth structure the earth is made up of several concentric layers the outer layer is the earth's crust the lithosphere parts of the earth's crust that are immersed under the oceans and seas forms the hydrosphere extending upwards the earth is enveloped by a blanket of gases which make up the atmosphere chemical composition The lithosphere or the outermost crust of the earth is the thinnest layer. It is made up of rocks with large content of silicates, feldspar, mica, etc. The lithosphere can be divided into two broad division, the sial and sima. Sial appears to float above sima because it has less density. The name sial is taken from silica and aluminum. Sima is named after silica. SI and magnesium Mg Sial layer forms the con- continents while sima makes up the ocean floor The core of the earth is called knife It is made up of nickel and iron Since these are heavy metals having high density they are found in deep inside the earth Internal composition Based on the above chemical composition The earth's interior is divided into three layers: core, mantle, and crust. Core. It is the most inaccessible part lying at the center of the earth. The core is the densest part of the earth. It is also divided into outer and inner core. The entire core is about 7000 km in diameter. The temperature ranges from about 4400 degrees Celsius to about 6000 degree celsius it is generally believed that the core is composed of iron and nickel which is responsible for earth's magnetism the magnetic field is oriented towards north and south poles the solid state of the inner core is due to high density and pressure which have compressed the molten rock material the s waves disappear in the outer core which suggests it is in a molten state Now we come to mantle. Mantle. This is a layer lies below the crust. Its average thickness is 2,900 kilometers and makes up 84 percent of the Earth's total volume. The mantle is divided into two parts: the upper mantle and the lower mantle. The upper mantle extends from the Moho discontinuity to the depth of 700 kilometers. It is cooler and made up of solid rocks. The lower mantle extends from 700 km to 2900 km. Lower mantle is hotter and denser than the upper mantle. At the depth of around 100 to 1410 km, the mantle is partially molten and is known as asthenosphere. Lower mantle is solid due to high pressure. As the pressure increases towards the interior of the earth, the density also increases. The temperature varies between about 1000 degree Celsius to around 3700 degree Celsius. Gutenberg discontinuity. 
द बाउंड्री बिटवीन द मेंटल एंड द कोर और द मेंटल कोर इंटरफेस इज नोन एज ग्यूटेनबर्ग डिसकंटिन्यूटी इट बिगिन्स एट द डेप्थ ऑफ 2,800 किलोमीटर्स यर देर इज एन अब्रप्ट चेंज इन द सिस्मिक वेव्स जनरेटेड बाय द अर्थवेक्स और एक्सप्लोजन्स दैट ट्रैवल थ्रू द अर्थ प्राइमरी सिस्मिक वेव्स कॉल्ड पी वेव्स डिक्रीज इन वेलोसिटी वाइल सेकेंडरी सिस्मिक वेव्स कॉल्ड एस वेव डिसअपियर कंप्लीटली इट इज डेंस प्रॉब्लिबली ड्यू टू अ ग्रेटर परसेंटेज ऑफ आयन क्रस्ट और लेथोस्फियर द क्रस्ट इज कॉल्ड लेथोस्फियर बिकॉज इट इज अ स्पीयर ऑफ सॉलिड रॉक्स लेथो मीन्स स्टोन्स और रॉक्स क्रस्ट इज ओनली वन परसेंट ऑफ अर्थ मास एंड कंटेन्स ऑल नोन लाइफ इन द यूनिवर्स द क्रस्ट इज अ रिलेटिव थिन लेयर ऑफ रॉक्स विथ अ थिकनेस ऑफ सिक्सटी किलोमीटर बिला बिलो हाई माउंटेन्स एंड जस्ट फोर टू टेन किलोमीटर्स बिलो द ओशंस कंसिडरिंग द साइज ऑफ द अर्थ द क्रस्ट इज अ रिलेटिवली थिन लेयर द टेम्परेचर ऑफ द अपर पार्ट ऑफ द ओशनिक क्रश हैज बीन एस्टिमेटेड एट जीरो डिग्री सेल्शियस बट इट ग्रेजुअली स्टार्ट राइजिंग टूवर्ड्स द इंटीरियर द वेट एंड प्रेशर ऑफ द रॉक्स ऑल्सो स्टार्ट इंक्रीजिंग विद दैम मोहोवरिक डिसकंटिन्यूटी दिस डिसकंटिन्यूटी बिटवीन द क्रस्ट एंड द मैंटल वॉज डिस्कवर्ड बाय यूगैंसवलियन साइंटिस्ट एंड रीजिया मोहोवरक्की in 1909 it is simply known as moho discontinuity it forms the boundary between the crust and the mantle like the crust it does not exist at a uniform depth it is found at about 8 km beneath the oceans and about 32 km beneath the continents it has the characteristics of both the upper layer which is called the crust and its bottom layer the mantle because of the continuous changes in the earth's crust due to forces of nature the thickness of lithosphere is very fragile compared to the nature and composition of earth the theory of continental drift put forward by wigner in the early 20th century and the theory of plate tectonics put forth in 1960s suggest that the earth's crust undergoes structural changes besides the lateral movement gave the earth a new shape though very slowly over millions of years thank you